boxing fans out there how you doing big porky here big grafter today big grafter uh, right I want to talk about Sunday Ajayi. A lot of emails in for him. A lot. A lot of people going on about him. He's created a lot of hype for his fighter, Anthony Yard. But in my opinion, he's turning me off, Anthony Yard. I'm not, uh, He's not beat anybody, has he? Who's he beat? Who's Anthony Yard beat to warrant all this hype? See, this is it nowadays, right? <laughs> Everybody seems to be pushing the narrative that we need to get out there and promote our guy. Same with Tyson Fury. You know, he's made a lot of noise, hasn't he, since Wilder draw. But, he's fighting Tom Swartz. Let me repeat that. Tom Swartz. Anthony Yard's best wins, Tony Avalon and Saloka. <laughs> Jesus. Shocking that, isn't it? How shocking is that? How shocking is that? Hey, it's shocking, isn't it? Proper shocking. But uh, it's foggy this morning, isn't it? 8:45. Look how foggy it is. Oh, look at fog here. Proper foggy, isn't it? But, uh, but getting back to uh, getting back to Anthony Yard, not beat anybody to warrant the hype. If he fights Kovalev, and if he fights him, whatever happened to protecting your fighter? Like Tunde Ajayi has been going, we'll do it when the time's right. Because if he fights Kovalev, it means that as soon as a few quid comes comes their way. They're going to throw him under a bus. Now, if Tunde is the manager trainer of Yard, he'll be on 30% of 4.2 million. So, he's criticising Eddie Hearn for Dare to be Great. Yard eh, won't beat Kovlov in Russia unless he knocks him out. He's been knocking over bin men! Bin men! And his trainer's making it about him. That's my opinion. Nobody said he doesn't know about training, but he's coming out with crazy statements that don't tell me batteries flashing. He's coming out with crazy statements that uh, unbelievable batteries flashing on me now. That they don't have sparring partners. They don't need sparring partners. What's all that about? We don't have sparring partners. Do me a favour! Oh, we've never had sparring partners. It puts it, it puts Miley John Clark. So he's not going to have any sparring partners. And he's going to go out there. And they're going to fight Kovalev. And they're going to do it their way. Right? What if he ruins that kid? For the sake of a few quid. Because if they're getting four million. He's going to take one point. Two and a half, isn't he? Frank's going to take his cut, then you've got tax, man. What's the kid going to be left with? A million quid? Hey, Look at that. He'd be lucky to get a million pound out of that. Hey, Throwing him under the bus for money. This is where there's a fine line between protecting your fighter, over-protecting him, or throwing him under a the bus. There has to be grey areas. We can't just keep knocking over bin men and hoping and praying that you can get a number one position and then get a big payday in a mandatory or hanging back and hanging back and hanging back for money boxing don't work like that whatever happened to legacy whatever happened to people actually fighting 50-50 fights fought fans or 
Frank in a heartbeat Warren. Doing me heading lately. I can see me sacking this channel off with boxing and just go in and doing other things. There's plenty of opportunities for me to do besides boxing. I'm just sick of it. Last few weeks, I'm just sick of it. I keep hearing that the heavyweight division is the best it's ever been. How is it? How is that? How is the heavyweight division the best that it's ever, ever been? I'm not having it. I'm not buying into that Maloney. I'm not buying into that Frank Baloney. No way. Not buying into it at all. No. Nope. No. Nope. I think fighters need to start stepping up to the plate and giving the fans something because boxing's more expensive than ever. What's he doing, him here? Unbelievable. Crawling down there at two mile an hour. Boxing's more expensive than ever. You've got £20 pay-per-views. Amir Khan has been fighting bin men last few years since Canelo lost. 20 quid for Crawford fight. Then you've got all this other stuff. 20 quid ago on it on uh, on Sky. Eddie Hearn can't even put a pay-per-view on at the moment. Do you know why? Because he's having to take risks and go abroad all the time and it's fraught with problems, isn't it? He can't even put a pay-per-view out. His stable's that depleted because of Dazon. Sky will be fuming with him. That's why I know for a fact, in 18 months, when Eddie Hearn's done with Sky, they're going to get rid of him. He'll be going from Sky him. They'll be taking everything to Dazon. You mark my words. They'll be thinking of the future with streaming and that. That's what I think. But well, Sky can do all that, can't they? But now, now, boxing's got to change for me to fall back in love with it again. It's becoming too expensive at the moment and people are not fighting the fights. They're just not fighting the fights. Like I've just said, it's becoming expensive and it's a bit of a laughing stock at the moment. Tom Swartz against Fury. <laughs> Miller against Joshua, although Miller's getting done for drugs now. And who's the other one? Brazil against Wilder. That's actually not a bad fight. But Swartz against Fury. Oh, God. And Dillian White, he wants to step into the mix now to fight Joshua. What a six week notice. <laughs> Dillian, I need 16 week camp for Joshua White. Now all of a sudden he realises that he's being frozen out. He wants to go to America and fight. They're not going to let that happen. It's a Wembley fight, that, isn't it? Or an O2 fight. Probably an O2 fight if Joshua ever comes back to England. Because will he ever come back? I'm, I'm not so sure. I think Dillian White has missed his train. That's what I think. I think the he got to the train station too late. He wanted a cheap ticket on the train and they said, no, this is the price, Dillian. So and he missed his train and that's what that's why he's now wanted to fight at six week notice. But who's to say he hasn't been training already? And he's just saying that because they're all trying to bluff, bluff and counter bluff. But if you pin them down and actually ask these people some proper questions like Tunde Ajayi, you ask him proper questions, he starts doing some stupid laugh. Falling around on floor, coming out with some stupid laugh and talking, it's strategy, it's strategy. Strategy? What a load of crap. Just get your guy fighting somebody who's WBO. Number one ranked, it's not for anyone yet. You're knocking fights back left, right and centre. Get in with somebody, get in with Callum Johnson. Get in with Boatsy. Just have a fight. I don't want to hear all that, we've only had so many amateur fights and all that. You're number one ranked. Get and fight somebody. Instead of coming out with all these stupid laughs and I'm a joker, I'm a joker. If you're a joker, go be in a pantomime. I don't want to hear it in boxing. I want serious people around me. If I mess about up here in this office, I'm out of my ear. Serious. I've been serious today, no road ragers. But now it's just cheesing me off, man. Cheesing me off. I'm even starting to swear in my videos lately. It shows me how, uh, it shows that I'm getting cheesed off about it all. About the current situation in the sport of boxing. 
I'm cheesed off with this fried really look at this in the morning. Quarter to nine man. State of this traffic. But uh what you doing man? Get your signal on! See that's what it does to me when I'm driving. I end up road raging. Old bogey there in his Volvo. It's always some old guy in a Volvo, innit, who doesn't signal. I hate that. I always signal. But no, I, I'm just not happy with Anthony Yard. I'm not happy with him. I'm not happy with his team. He's making it about... Tunde Ajayi, he's making it about him. Trainers should be seen and not heard. I don't want to. See, I don't want to hear anything from trainers. I don't want to see Dave Colwell doing 50-minute sit-downs with box, boxing social or Tunde Ajayi going on about his relationship at the Mayweather gym. He used to mop up. He used to mop up there because I've heard back. Making out he's a big cheese at Mayweather gym. He used to mop up there, mate. Dishcloth. Now listen. This is how I look at it, right? It's not about the trainers. I don't want to see trainers in interviews. We have promoters to get fighters out, but everybody feels that they have to go to Coogan Cassius or Boxing Social and get themselves out there, don't they, and promote their guy. They have a promoter for that. Yarday's got Frank Warren to get him out there. He's 18 and 0 with 17 KOs. He don't need any promotion. I don't want to see you in interviews. I want to see Yard in interviews. I want to see Anthony Yard. I want to know about Anthony Yard. I don't want to know about Tunde Ajayi. I want to know about Anthony Yard. That's who I want to know about. I want to know about him as a person. What he eats for breakfast and I'm, I, is it right he could have been a sprinter? I want to know everything about him. I don't want to know about his trainer and, and going for dinner with Floyd Mayweather. I don't want to hear about that crap. BMW, they're convertible. I were going to buy one of them, but I'm a mate, man. And they look. Not like that shape, anyway. I did do, but. I used to have a uh, 2.5 M Sport Coupe. Petrol, though. Jeez. 20 tick gallon, if you're lucky, man. This baby does 50 tick gallon knocking about. But now I'm Merc, man, me. Merc. Daniel Goodwin, you sent me that picture of that Merc. Gorgeous, wasn't it, mate? Gorgeous. Very nice. You're a lucky lad. Very lucky lad. Sending me pictures of 100 grand cars. <laughs> you must be leasing it, Daniel, or have you nicked it? <laughs> but, uh, but no, I don't want to hear about Sunday or J.E. I don't want to hear about Joe Gallagher, Dave Caldwell, any of them. You don't see Tony Sims in every interview, dear, or Robert McCracken. They go about the business quietly. They stay out of way. It's not about them. It's about the boxer. I don't want to see trainers. Too many trainers are doing sit downs. What are you doing? You're fucking. You're an idiot. I don't want to see that. I want to see about the boxer. I don't want to see trainers doing 100 minute interviews or 50 minute interviews. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in Tunde J. I'm not interested in you mate. Not interested. We you falling about on floor? Rolling about on floor! You're ruining the sport of boxing. You're ruining it. I don't want to see it. So, oh, well, big hitters are there today. Oops, a daisy. So, that's just my opinion. And I'm entitled to it. They're not cool in these. They match my uh, t shirt, don't they? But no, I don't want to hear about it Sunday, I'm afraid. I've got work to do today. And I'll have a workout this morning. Lift a few weights, might have got a punch bag. A uh, couple of things I wanted to touch on before I go into office. 
Uh, am I buying into this Miller P PED thing? I think we'll do this in part two because battery's going to need changing. I don't think I've got enough time for this. So, peace out. Two secs.